Welcome back to CBS This Morning. Time to take another look at this morning's headlines from around the globe. Britain's Telegraph says a single pill made with a chemical found in tomato skins could cut the risk of strokes, heart attacks, and cancer. Lycopene has been shown to make blood vessels more efficient. Researchers at Cambridge University warned that more trials are needed. The New York Times says big changes are coming this spring for Disney World visitors. They'll be given a rubber bracelet with their credit card information inside so you can pay for food or mouse ears with the tap of the wrist and you'll get a signal when the lines are short at your favorite ride. French actor Gerard Depardieu is now a Russian citizen, according to The Guardian. Depardieu got his Russian passport during a personal face-to-face -face meeting with President Vladimir Putin, who was there to greet him when he arrived. Depardieu left France to avoid a new 75% tax rate on millionaires. And in Hong Kong, the South China Morning Post says Brad Pitt has touched off a flurry of speculation that he's planning to visit China. Pitt posted this message on a Chinese social media website. It is the truth. Yep, I'm coming. <laughs> China may not put out the welcome mat, however. Pitt was banned from ever entering China in 1997 after his movie Seven Years in Tibet. Oh, I thought it was for that Chanel commercial. <laughs> oh, okay. The Los Angeles Times says Texas Chainsaw 3D was this weekend's most popular movie. The remake of the classic horror movie took in $23 million in its opening weekend. Wow, beating out The Hobbit. I guess that wasn't probably on your watch no, list. No, not this weekend. And the New York Post says a musical spoofing Fifty Shades of Grey will hit a theater in New York City this week. It's called Fifty Shades, the musical. And in case you're wondering, everyone in the show keeps their clothes on.